Hey there, happy day eight of our All About You 365 Day Challenge. Doing one thing every day that centers you from the little journal book. Do one fun, do one thing every day that centers you. Just finished the fun challenge today. 365 days, went 366 days, started January 8th of 2020 and finished up today. And switched, of course, starting at the beginning of the year this time to doing one thing every day that centers you. Now, our challenge today, I actually had to Google it because it's about a vernal wood and I'm like what the heck is vernal wood even when I read the the phrase and the challenge for today I'm like I still don't know exactly what it means so I looked it up and vernal wood means relating to or coming from or of or it also means occurring in the spring youthful fresh or new so now maybe this will make sense when I read it to you because it didn't make a ton of sense when I first experienced it, it says one impulse from a vernal wood may teach you more of man, of moral evil, and of good than all the sages can. That's by William Wordsworth, because William Wordsworth wrote in a way and in a time that was a little bit different than we're used to today. So I had to actually Google and look up what the heck is vernal wood. So what's our challenge today? How does this have anything to do with centering us? And it says, when what I learned from nature today. So remember we started talking about smelling the roses yesterday and something that we can experience in nature, something that occurs in the natural world that brings us pleasure and joy. Well, this one reminds us to go out and seek out what we can learn from nature. And maybe it's the fresh newness uh of spring and the smell of wood when you're walking through the woods in the spring, vernal wood. Anyway, it was a new expression for me. So it just goes to show you, we can learn things from nature every day. We can learn things from our little journal book every day just by uh, reading a, a simple little phrase, or I guess it's probably considered a poem. One impulse from a vernal wood. Okay, so one viewing of something fresh or new or different or youthful or spring-like happens to be wood may teach you more about mankind of moral and in good, good and evil, than all the sages could, all of the gurus and sages that could teach you something about the world. Apparently we can learn more from nature. And I guess I would echo that. I would agree that everything we need is already inside us. So uh, spending time in nature and appreciating it is, and thinking for ourselves is a terrific way to uh, have more understanding of what good and evil means to us than to anybody else outside of us. So that's our challenge for today. What can you learn from nature? Share in the comments below what you do or could learn from nature today. And I'll be with you tomorrow with a little challenge, a new challenge. And hopefully I'll know what all the words mean from our little journal book, Do One Thing Every Day That Centers You. Have an absolutely amazing day.